head a bit towards me and chin down. Perfect, wonderful. As an artist, I'm pretty versatile, so I do love landscape painting and I do love still life painting, but what really engages me is the human face. I'm trying to get the pose that shows off a person's likeness the most in their personality. My wife, Auntie Celeste, I made her pose over and over and over again. Now she won't pose anymore. I come from a family of artists. My father's an architect, my mother's a writer, and both of my brothers went into the arts as well. So we grew up in this very active cultural environment. In fact, my parents met at a figure drawing class at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, where I studied briefly as well. I'm just gonna basically elaborate on the drapery. And I'm gonna change the angle of the leg. This is too much of a square. In the 80s and 90s, there wasn't any formal training available at a university level for figurative art. They told me to go somewhere else. I ended up taking an alternative route, going for an atelier system, where it means you study with individual artists in terms of an apprenticeship. Through my connections and meeting other painters, Ginny Sykes in particular, she directed me to a couple of painters in Florence. At that point, I was 24, and I just bought a one-way plane ticket to Florence. A leap of faith. My wife's from southern Italy, so I ended up going down there for a while, and then I studied fresco painting and ceramics, and I'm a sculptor as well. I do a lot of bronze sculptures. I'm passionate about studying the history of art, because art comes from art as well. So I eventually got a degree in art history. We're talking about the sculptures. Yeah. Dug the clay itself out of the ground. And we go to the hills and dig the sand out of the hill, clean the sand, mix it with the lime, and then put the lime plaster on the walls preparing the paints from scratch. It's a lifetime of regaining this knowledge to preserve these methods that were lost. They actually sculpt in the bronze. It's fascinating. It gives me great satisfaction that I am carrying these forward and I can transmit them to the next generation of painters. Last bit, ready. Technique, vision, okay, okay. sensibility. They all come together to create a great work of art. It's an honor to have my work here. The greatest compliment I've received is I keep coming back to your picture and I can't leave it. Oh, oh, oh that's it. Okay. Technique and what you're saying are fused together. Just technique is not art. It's a poor substitute. It's not the same. Seat. What I admire about artworks of the past is the sacred quality of the work that's supposed to speak eternally. I spend a lot of time on developing the craft. Like it? Okay. Because I want the works to last longer. You don't see that very often, so that's pretty... No. The power of art to build bridges between one person and another is fantastic. I have to get your mom's approval, that's the hard part.